this team around. He's got another good one, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Um, those three sophomore guards are playing really well for him. And, uh, Spangler makes a huge difference. I mean, he's just, he is, uh, he's the best, he's the best rebounder in our league, maybe one of the best in the country. Shot blocking, nothing there. He blocks some shots, but yeah, no. Like Rebounds everything. Now you have questions. Mitch, I'm wondering about Oklahoma's defense. I mean, obviously a lot gets made about how they can put points on the board, but they also give up a lot. So does this put extra emphasis on you guys playing defense and, and holding them down or because they may not be able to hold you down? Justin, it's, it's, it's the same thing I said before the Kansas State game. When you have more possessions, you're going to score more points. Okay. And they shoot it a lot faster. So when you when you shoot it faster, there's going to be more possessions. You're gonna you're gonna score more points, and your opponents are gonna score more points. I mean, we're shooting a lot faster than what we've shot it, and so we're scoring more points. But so's our opponents. And that just goes with the territory. It really, you know, it comes down to how many points per possession more than what the final score is. Right. And I mean in terms when you start looking at offensive and defensive statistics. You guys talked a lot about uh, changing up the offense a little bit, spreading it out more to give Juwan some room to work with in the lane. Is that something that after watching it on film you feel like can be more of the identity of this offense or does it just go game by game? No, we did that to get, to get all that help out of there. I mean, if you watch them play, they run to help so much, and we needed to get some easy baskets, and so we had to take the help away. So, I mean, that's that's why I did it. I just, after watching film, I thought I thought if we could make some shots, and I thought we could get some shots, which Remy did get some good shots. And we, Nate got some shots. If we could get shots. We could get uncontested shots, and if we were fortunate enough to make a few, then they'd have to come out and guard us, which would open things up for us. But that was just because of how much they help. Juwan becomes the first player from this program to be a Big 12 player of the year of the week. Um, I mean, I know that that's not going to change his focus or mentality or anything like that, but what does an honor like that mean to him after all the hard work that he's put in this year? Means you had a heck of a week, huh? I mean, we, you know, we finally won two in a row, so... I mean, he's been deserving before, but you know, when you don't win, and you don't, they don't generally give that award to people on losing teams. How has this team reacted to to those wins to Baylor, and Kansas State? Well, I think they've been fine. Yeah. Uh, we had a pretty good practice yesterday. No, it wasn't great, but this time of year, I don't know. You don't have the same kind of practices you have early on. I think we got done what we need to get done. I'm sure they'll they'll be good today. Outside of Kansas, is there any sense that can be made from the conference standings right now or is it still too early to even to even look at that? Um, I think it's, uh, I think it shows how much parity there is, yeah. you know, when you, when you look at how kind of jammed up everybody is, but you know, honestly, I mean, the Big East was that way, right. you know, from, for the top 10 or 11, they were pretty jammed up and that happens in good leagues and familiarity makes it hard to, you know, to, to win consistently. It's, it's, it's really kind of amazing what Kansas has done, to be honest with you. It's like you know, you just talk about the familiarity but for this to be the first time you play this team. There are teams that you've already played twice and you're done with them for the season. Um, I mean, is, is it 
do you, do you like it? Do you does it matter one way or another that you get a couple of teams now down the stretch that you haven't faced at all and you still got them twice ahead of you? Familiarity. I mean, you know, you know who they're playing. You know what their people they're playing is trying to do. And there's so much film available. So you 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 watch film. You watch film. You look at you look at patterns. You look at what they do consistently. What they don't do consistently. You look at what they do well. What they don't do well. You can't do that in non-conference early in the year. And and. A lot of times in non-conference, they're playing people who they could run whatever they want to run and open score. And, um, you know, I think conference about familiarity is not just who you're playing, but who they're playing against and what they're trying to do and, you know, those kind of things. So um, generally the scores come down and the games are closer.